days after pro-Hamas rally in Kerala. A fresh controversy has now erupted in the state, openly backing Hamas terrorist Congress MP has now, from Kasargod, said Hamas terrorists did nothing wrong by attacking Israel and that they only took weapons in their hands to save Palestine. Let's listen in to this statement. Ayutam Kail Katiapur, Uri Janada di Motam Munmulan and Tian in America or Sahayam, England in Sahayam Katiapur, Narahatian of another one drink another, Wamsi Hatian another one drink another, Ah, Wamsi Hati, Narahati, Namukati Shaktama, either table two, America and in the Pinil, England and in the Pinil, Namukariam, Irakile. Patelaksham Arabigale, Allegal Islamigale, Kunduke, Astaman, America, Afghanistan, Yerlecham Muslim, Kunduke, Adjavana, America, Korea, other word than a Vietnam, Nirabar Athikala, Allegal Kunduke, America, America, the Utakodi, in the Avasari Chitilla, Adan the Mal, Palestine, El Kandu, and Rikunda, Palestine. Jenangal in Ayutha Medita, the Soyra Cheku in Ditana, about a Jenman out of Indadika Naitana, Lakshakanakin Alagala Kolunavar, Rajas Nehigan, Ah Sundam Nadi Samdachika, and Ari Engel Kunal, our Tibra Vadigal, Angani Anangil, Ah Tibra Vadigal Oropavan, and Amaluru Trip, Karanam, Hamas, Manisha, the Jeev and the Chikan and Ayutha Medita. Hamas, Urajam, Anyatina Pertans with the Allegal Vortikana, Ayutha Medita, Angan Ayutha Medicandi Vano, Edipitu and Vanaparan. We just heard from, from the Congress MP, where uh, he has openly gone on to support uh, the Hamas, and the question really staring at the Congress on whether they support the Hamas. This is days after a pro Hamas rally in Kerala, a fresh controversy that has erupted in the state. In Kerala, openly backing Hamas terrorists was this Congress MP from Kasargur who went on to say that Hamas terrorists did nothing wrong by attacking Israel and that they only took weapons in their hands to save Palestine. The deadliest attack that has been witnessed in recent times on the 7th of October where Hamas terrorists went on to attack innocent Israelis and still hold many of them hostages. But uh, this is the Congress MP from Kasargor who's gone on to support the Hamas group. And let me straight away cut across to my colleague Ashwin who's joining us live on the broadcast. Ashwin, uh, the Congress really must come out clear to where they stand when it comes to whether they support the Hamas or not. This is a statement that is openly coming in from this Congress MP in Kasargor. Any statement so far uh, from the top leadership in the state or further on? There has not been a reaction from the Congress side after one of their own MPs of Kasar Kota, Raj Mohan Unitan, has uh, come out very openly on last fri on Friday evening as part of a, a prayer meet that was held in Kasar Kota district, which was organized by a united Muslim Jamaat, a collective of mosques in and around the Kasar Kota uh, district. Now, what he said over there, for, perhaps we have been seeing uh, the leaders in Kerala, especially from the Congress party and the left, have been talking about supporting Palestine, but this is the first time we see there's an open support for Hamas. What uh, Dajmon Umitan, who is none other than the Congress MP, he has gone ahead to say that if you call uh, Hamas as a terrorist organization, it does not matter, we will still support them. These are the words that are coming out from a Congress MP. He goes on to say that Hamas has taken to arms to protect their own people, and that is a result of it. And those who kill uh, people in, say, in Iraq, in the war that happened in Iraq, in Afghanistan, if they are branded as patriots on the other side, but the people who are protecting their own ilk are now being branded as terrorists, which 
that be the case, so be it. This is the exact word that is coming out from a very veteran Congress leader. It's not a junior Congress leader. He's a Rajmohan Omitan. He's a very, very senior Congress leader. And he has spoken this at his constituency. Obviously, he has uh, his election uh, uh, interest and all that in front of him. But uh, open su- support for Hamas has come from the mouth of the Congress leader. He has even went on to say that he's ashamed that uh, Indian Prime Minister, he's ashamed of Indian Prime Minister for supporting the war. He's ashamed to of uh, even uh, Rishi Sunak, who's uh, in, uh, Indian by origin. So many controversial statements have been given um, by uh, by this Congress MP from Council Court, and which he always always want to say that all the Islamic world should come together. And if that be the case, even a speck of uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will not be found. All these statements have been made by the Congress MP. Certainly, the Congress have a lot to answer, whether they are openly supporting Hamas, whether they are in the, in the name of supporting Palestine, or uh, the, the, the rational stand of India of having a two state in the conflict zone. Whether apart from that, they want to have a complete removal of the Israeli state is, as well, because that is the kind of call that has been made by the Congress uh, MP. He has gone to say that Hamas was created to even take out all the people who are trying to invade into their land. So clearly, uh, there is a lot of the Congress leadership have to answer. Um, there is one uh, senior leader of them coming out openly supporting Hamas. Thank you. Having to interrupt you here, but Mr. K. Surendran from uh, Kerala BJP is now with us on the phone line. Thank you for talking to Republic. Your uh, response to the statement coming in from this Congress MP and uh, really how the Congress must come clear whether this is particularly being timed because uh, as far as the style of the Congress is concerned, they are known for playing appeasement politics. But here several controversial statements have been made by this Congress MP where he's also gone on to take on uh, America and uh, he is openly supporting the Hamas. Yeah, this is not the individual stand. This is the... Uh, Congress party stand in Kerala, they are openly supporting Hamas terrorists in the name of the Palestine-Israel war. They are trying to uh, woo the uh, terrorist organizations in the support of the Congress. Uh, there has been one uh, program arranged by the Muslim terror groups in Malapram. The Hamas terrorists virtually attended that rally. The Congress and the Muslim League is supporting Hamas. Here in Kerala, both the LDF and UDF, Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan and the Opposition Congress Party is openly supporting Hamas in Kerala. They are uh, using this issue. They are using this war for, for their vote bank politics. This is a cheap politics which the Congress Party, the anti-national, anti-Indian stand taking by the Congress Party in Kerala. We are always uh, speaking this in openly. All right, Mr. Surendran, thank you for speaking to Republic. Let me also quickly bring in uh, Mr. K.G. Alphonse, who's uh, very patiently been holding that line. Uh, thank you, sir, for speaking to Republic. Uh, like Mr. Surendran is saying, that as far as uh, Congress is concerned in Kerala, the party collectively has been supporting the Hamas. So this is not just a statement coming in from an individual, but that has been the position of Kerala Congress. Do you think that this is something that really goes uh, to the top leadership in Delhi also and the Congress must clarify? Because this is a big statement coming in and like I said, this is not just about uh, uh, the man stating that he supports the Hamas, but also making several controversial statements when it comes to America and uh, even other details. See, I don't feel it's just an isolated statement from a member of parliament from Kerala, Mr. Unitan. Uh, this has been the consistent stand of both the Congress Party in Kerala, everybody out there, and also the Communist Party completely. So both these, the LDF as well as the UDF, has been massively supporting terrorist activities of the Hamas. I mean, not willing to call them for, for, for what they are. And uh, the reason is very simple. Uh, they all want the uh, 27% votes of the Muslims in Kerala, and therefore they are trying to pamper to these uh, terrorist elements. And it's extremely unfortunate. The Congress party must understand that when it comes to terrorism, there should be no politics. Uh, there should be no uh, thought of the vote bank. We should stand by the nation. And 
Any act of terrorism, and obviously the 7th October Act was an act of terrorism, there's nobody who can dispute that. And if that is so, I think anybody who loves India, I mean, who loves humanity, should have the guts to come out and say, and call it an act of terror. And of course, we don't endorse BJP as a party. We don't endorse what is happening in, in Gaza. I think uh, humanitarian consideration, the laws of war must be adhered to in a, in a war. And therefore, uh, innocent people shouldn't suffer. All that is true. But an act of terror is an act of terror. And the Congress party at large, not only in Kerala, but also uh, in Delhi, uh, nationally must have the guts to call it whatever it is. Mr. Alphonse, thank you for speaking to the public. Let me go back to my colleague Ashwin, who has uh, still been on that phone line. Uh, Ashwin, uh, when, when it comes to the Congress party, they have always comparatively come across uh, softer when it comes to taking a concrete position on terrorism. And this is not just word across, but even when there have been terror activities in our own country uh, and they have been in power, they have never ever given it back strongly. And uh, this is the very narrative uh, that the BJP is now uh, pointing at that uh, the Congress does not stand against terrorism by and large. Well, uh, absolutely. From what is coming out from the mouth of the Congress leader, a very senior Congress leader, the lines have been drawn very clearly. The line so far was a little blurred because on one side, uh, there were supporting Palestine costs. And India's official stand has always been with Palestine, but for the support of a two-state. Now, contrary to that, there has been a very blurry stance that was taken for some time where Congress was supporting Hamas, but they were taking, not taking out the name of Hamas. They were saying all the resistance by Palestine. But what makes this particular speech completely different from the rest of it is that a senior Congress leader has said that Hamas was created to protect its own people. And if they kill a few people, it is not an act of terror. It is a way of supporting their own ill, protecting their own ill from intruders. Now, this is a stance that has been taken. This Rajmohan Unitan, even uh, I have completely heard what he has spoken in, um, for about 15 to 20 minutes of his speech. He has gone on to say, historically, India has a relationship with Palestine. That when uh, Indira Gandhi passed away, Yasser Arafat was crying. And from that stand, today what we see is what he has now quoted. He has went on to say uh, uh, that he's ashamed of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He's ashamed of for being an Indian because India, he's alleging that India has become a vassal for uh, the uh, greedy war uh, tactics of uh, US and uh, uh, the UK. And that is the kind of speech that is coming out. He has openly supported Hamas. He said there's nothing wrong in creation of Hamas. It's an armed resistance movement and there is nothing wrong he has not condemned any of the terror act or the abduction of the rape of women that has been conducted by Hamas. And remember, this particular event was uh, taken place in Castle Court, his home constituency, where there is a majority section is from uh, from the Muslim community. So perhaps it is a it is a bit for him to get back the vote because the Lok Sabha elections are coming, and perhaps he has got and he has attended this uh, uh, conference where there were many other controversial speakers as well. In fact, we will be going into that much later but some of the speakers have stated that emotionally we must all support Hamas and this is one of the statements that has come from a co-speaker from the same platform and another speaker another Muslim cleric has also spoken stating that uh, Hamas must be protected at any cost so in such a venue we see a Congress leader of a veteran Congress leader gone on to speak in support of Hamas and that is something which Congress have to clarify. Do they support the actions of Hamas? If Congress wants is looking for a two-state solution, uh, what this Congress MP is saying is completely different from a two-state solution. He wants complete eviction. In fact, a complete elimination of uh, uh, the uh, the uh, Israelis. That is a kind of speech he is trying to give in Kassar Kurd. He has gone on to state to uh, to such an effect. So all these have to be clarified. And there is no condemnation of the terror that was taken. Uh, the entire world by shock. Uh, 
um, India has taken a very nuanced stance and here we see a Congress MP going on record to say he is ashamed of the Prime Minister and his stance. We, we have taken a very, uh, very, 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 uh, very, very controlled stance as well. All right, Ashwin, thank you for uh, putting that into perspective for us and certainly waiting for more reactions uh, uh, to come in from the Congress party to clear their position on whether they do stand by this statement or not. For the moment, we move on.